Hi Leo, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and thank you so much for being here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a read for the month of July 2019, and this will be for all Leo's sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs, okay? So, now this is a general read, and I do hope that there is something that you can take with you, all of you, okay? Uh, but if not, then you can definitely book a personal read at theguidedintuitive.com. We'll get you hooked up over there. Uh, I'm all ready for you. Um, my schedule page is open, so this is really good. I'm excited for it. So uh, if you're interested, um, book an, uh, an appointment on my schedule. Uh, I will get you right on in, and then we will move from there and tap into your personal energies, okay? All right, so let's uh, see what wants to come and play. What insights, uh, what insights and uh, what information does Leo need to be aware of for the month of July? Um, happy birthday, America. If you are celebrating the 4th of July in your area, um, all your Leos out there, uh, if you are uh, celebrating the 4th of July, be safe, have fun, um, and all that good stuff. Uh, and let's see what wants to come out. I do want to thank all of those who've donated to my uh, mission to save my uh, the feral uh, cats uh, family that is in uh, the community around here. And I do want to thank you for that. I've made note of that, and something special will become uh, will be given to all those. Uh, those donors there, uh, so uh, big, uh, good stuff, good stuff. We're saving the animal kingdom, we're doing our part, uh, you know, you're being a part of uh, making this happen and relocating them to a certain, you know, a different location so they can actually thrive and, have, and not be, uh, uh, um, aggravated by others that are that's happening in the area so I do thank you okay so all right uh, and my link is in the PayPal uh, it's my PayPal link below at the very bottom of the in the description box uh, that's where, where most of all of you are sending your donations so I do appreciate that so thank you all right all right so uh, let's see what wants to come out here for you Leo um, now I do want to let you know um, Something came out within the pre-shovel, something that like a, like a, um, it was like a, a question that was being uh, asked of me uh, to put forth through you. And this would be, um, what advice uh, would, uh, on life, would you give yourself, okay, or that you would give to yourself if you were your own mother who wishes only but happiness for her child, okay? Because what I want you to do is to think about that. Now, some of you might know it right away, okay? Some of you might need a little bit of time and that's totally, totally fine. Uh, you let it marinate or, you know, let it do its job with inside and then uh, write that down because it's the advice that you need to follow partially as it relates to this read right now, okay? All right? So that's what I'm getting for you, all right? So just keep that in mind. And what kinds of advice would you give to yourself, um, you know, if you were your own mother who wished extreme happiness and abundance for her child, all right? All right, so that sounds good, okay? And, uh, uh, and, 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 and think about the things, um, you know, think about um, the things that you would like to be, um, the words that you would like to say to yourself uh, that would encourage you, right? That would encourage you uh, right now. So how would you want to be encouraged right now? That might give you a hint to some of that, okay? And that might kind of come from a different direction and kind of help you too, okay? So what would you want to hear, okay? So there you go, all right. So uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. Here's your first card here. This is where you're at right now. Okay. Lots of decisions, guys. You've got lots of decisions um, that are coming into play. And it, it leads to a little bit of confusion sometimes, especially when you get a lot of decisions coming through. This could be in a dating situation. This could be in terms of a career situation. Or this could be just in a, a situation overall, whatever has brought you to my channel, right? So not all of these choices are good. So it's about taking a look at each one and really looking at them to see what really vibes with you, okay? Um, because that's going to be very, very key for you right now. Um, there's lots of choices. So sevens are all about, uh, you know, it's about having faith. So there's no doubt about that. It's about having faith. 
Um, but you know, it's like, it's like communication. It's like, you've got a lot of choices and, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of, uh, kind of getting in the way a little bit, but this is just basically saying is that, you know, some of these choices might be fantasy. Uh, it might be an illusion. Okay. So really look at them carefully and then, you know, come back to them as you see fit, right? Uh, not just making the decision in one day, really take your time on this and move slow through this process because it's going to be really, really helpful for you. Again, it could be a relationship, a situation, uh, or it could be even a career. Okay. So there you have, I have a lot of options. All right. Um, and it leads to, this is about, you know, cups of emotions that lead you to emotional fulfillment, right? Uh, so that's what this is saying. Okay. So, uh, yeah, look beyond the veil, look beyond the illusion and step back, you know, a few times, two to three times to take a look at that because not everything is as it is actually is uh all right so just note that okay nice the next card that you get coming through is what you want at this moment you get the sun card <laughs> this is nice you want good vibes okay you want good vibes coming through which is great i mean this is a great time and this is about passion this is about feeling like a newborn baby on this this new horse for the first time and and galloping and just giggling and having a great time this is about being playful this is about having good vibes and sharing those good vibes with others okay so this is what is saying that you want at this particular moment all right uh so that's nice it's a major kind of card which is very pivotal right uh very strong energies behind it you got a lot of sunflowers growing behind there as well um uh, so very very nice yeah it's just having a great time let's see what else wants to come through nice you are feeling this is fun. this is great because your fears are that you're not going to be emotionally fulfilled and i i think that you've got an opportunity that's always coming in its place because this is in kind of like your fears you want emotional fulfillment right and uh, maybe it's just because of a little confusion that you have at this moment um but this is saying you've got an opportunity for emotional fulfillment here there is just no doubt your cup is overflowing this <laughs> your cup is overflowing this okay that's what's happening <laughs> the universe is sending you an opportunity and this is you know of emotional significance okay so that's what i see here it's almost as if that uh, you know, you are, 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 are getting this, this potential for, uh, uh, compassion, this potential for intimacy. This might have to do with a relationship that makes you feel really, really good, Leo. I'm just saying it's, that's what it's saying. And it's also, there's some communications, this communication down here with the blue, it's the throat chakra. So this is all about whether it's text, whether it's email, whether it is uh, in person, whatever communication, whatever forms it's making you feel like your cup is running over. Okay. So this is beautiful. Okay. Um, and, 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 and this is nice because, uh, this is uh, beautiful stuff. Let's see what, um, let's see. Um, let's see what here, what's going against you. Okay. What's going against you is a new beginning. Maybe it's just because um, you, you've got all these choices as a new beginning. And maybe it's a new beginning for you as it relates to a job, a situation. Maybe you're starting all over in life. A, a new way of being, right? It could be just as well that. Um, and it could be, too, that... Um, you know, you are going through a new beginning and a change in your life. And not only is it a new life opportunity for you where the sun is shining on you, which is great. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, a new beginning in love, a new beginning in career, a new beginning to this relationship or situation at this moment. So I like seeing this and the pages are all about messages. So perhaps you get some sort of messages message that leads to this emotional fulfillment, Leo. Um, and, and, and you're just very free flowing. You're really focused on, uh, you know, spending time with animals, uh, you know, kind of that type of thing, uh, and just really enjoying life and being very confident in moving forward, right? And this is even in the sea of emotions, you are moving forward with the sun shining on your back, uh, and, uh, you know, just kind of moving with the flow here. So this is great. Um, let's see what else wants to come out for you here. Okay, let's see here. We got the magician. This is letting you know, Leo, that you have all the resources necessary to make this what it is that you want. Again, a relationship, a business, a career situation. This is saying you have all the tools necessary. So if you feel like you're holding back, maybe because you need to complete a task, you know, complete a, a school, whatever this case may be, this is saying right now, 
you do have the resources that are able to help you be extremely successful in this. And this is calling upon all your resources, okay? What you've learned from the past, what you've learned from spirit, and then bringing that down into the physical plane and creating that alchemy to create the energies and manifestations that you're looking for, all right? So the magician is here. You might even be dealing with a Gemini, okay, in some way, shape, or form as well. Um, with the magician card coming through here, right? So let's see what else that there's in. And this is a major arcana kind of card. Do you know that you got three major arcana kind of cards out of these five coming through? Some major happenings, major things happening and taking place. Good stuff, okay? Um, I'm gonna pull a peace card, uh, you know, in terms of um, the process here. What's gonna help you? Simplicity. This is really focusing on making things very very simple in the process don't overcomplicate anything at this particular moment uh this is about you know just really uh making um making uh you know go the choose the path of least resistance you know when i talked about your choices here um this is about choosing the path of least resistance in this process because i think it's going to help you um you know i think it's going to help you make things make things a lot easier um, this is like, you know, really about sticking to the facts related to these choices, okay? Uh, and maybe into this love situation, uh, you know, uh, it could be that as well. Uh, but it's just really just about, uh, you know, surrendering any burdens that you might have at this particular moment that might be holding you back, just in some way, shape, or form. But this is beautiful because if you go through simplicity and it's about, um, you know, working towards, uh, you know, it's about, about confidence in here too, right? Uh, it's like decluttering your home, your mind, your heart, and getting rid of any unnecessary baggage. So you're able to move forward with this major arcana and move forward very swiftly uh, and uh, embrace this really emotional fulfillment that I see here. And it could have to be, say, you know, get rid of the baggage from the past relating to an old relationship, an old career, an old situation that didn't serve you to its highest good and be ready to move forward on with this new beginning and uh, this emotional fulfillment that you have here. Because this is what you wanted. You're manifesting this. And this is what came into play with it here. Um, and it looks like it's, this one has to do a little bit more with love with, if you think of cups in terms of emotions here. Um, so there is a, you know, a scale back your workload a little bit, um, uh, Leo, scale it back a little bit, uh, step back a little bit because it's going to help you. Okay. It's going to help you get that clarity that you need in terms of also making better choices. Okay, so this is going to be very, very good for you. All right, so, um, you know, take pleasure in the simplicity. You're going to find a lot more peace in the world uh, and also within your heart through the process, right? So um, just be free of complication, okay? Peace will remain, love will endure, truth will uh, not be broken down. Um, just let the fires kind of roar uh, in your life, especially during this eclipse season, <laughs> you know, is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, and just let your thoughts and emotions and wounds be just purified. Just be purified by these eclipses. Let it just be pure, purified, and uh, uh, really just focus on the good vibrations of the sun coming through for you, okay? So um, let me see if there's anything else that can help you through this process here, okay? True. So there's going to be truth and clarity about this situation at hand, okay? So whatever was hidden that you maybe you just weren't sure on kind of how to move forward, uh, Leo, truth is going to be coming out, okay? And it's going to blossom in a be all beautiful way, okay? So, you know, whatever that you weren't uh, maybe finding, uh, you know, at, at this particular time, there's good, a path is going to reveal itself is what it's saying. You can see that there's a little path that's kind of leading this way up beyond the flowers over here. Um, and it's just in full bloom. There is pink. It's just about, you know, it's just moving into love. There's a lot of love here, a lot of spirituality from the sky that's showing here. Uh, and uh, so this is really beautiful. And this is all about, um, you know, being honest with yourself. Be truthful in terms of what it is that you really want. Okay. Remember how I talked about, um, you know, like what advice would you give to yourself if you were your own mother and you wish the very best for your child, uh, you would want to focus and, 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 and tell your child that they could do anything that they want to do, right? Anything of the sort, um, but allowing them to be who they want to be, okay? 
uh, and not putting your wants and needs as a parent ahead of your child's, but really saying, you know, uh, child, uh, I am behind you, whatever you choose to be or to do, you know, uh, you know, to be in life, whatever it is that, you know, the encouragement that you want to give them and uh, be honest and truthful about that. And, uh, um, so this is really just saying is that, um, yeah, be honest with yourself in the process of this situation, of this love situation, of this um, uh, love situation, of this situation or career situation. It's saying your choices, be, be true to yourself in the process. And, uh, you know, it, because uh, you don't want to um, have any misunderstanding uh, and that would lead to disharmony in any way, shape or form, right? Um, you know, just note that the kind of, it's almost as if the veil has been lifted for you uh, in here. And, um, you know, this is, uh, uh, you're coming, you know, to trust more and be very authentic. And you're being a lot more understanding about who it is that you are, Leo. And be patient with that, okay? Be patient with that. Uh, you know, confusion um, can become very, sim you know, can become simplicity. And doubt makes way for a lot of creativity uh, to come into play too. So this is beautiful. All right. Very, very beautiful. What's going to help you in this process? Your growth. You, uh, you're going to expand your consciousness and you're going to expand your awareness as you continue to trust yourself. Um, and, uh, you know, there's some sort of growth. Uh, in a relationship, there's some sort of growth in this situation that you're experiencing that is uh, expanding your consciousness and your awareness overall in life and on your journey. Um, but you, you're, you're going to reach happiness. Um, uh, you know, you're going to know that you're on the right path here when you feel happy, right? Because uh, the next card you, you get uh, here is talking about happiness. You wear that being happy means that you're on the right path. And this is about listening to your heart and communicating that. And of course it is in anything that you do in your love partners and things like that as well, or whatever situation, you know, you're on the right path is when, you know, you definitely, uh, you're feeling happy and you feel harmony within yourself. Okay. Uh, anything else that's going to help you in this process? Uh, this is about discipline and having the discipline to do what it takes that when you set your mind to something to know that Leo, you can achieve that. You can totally achieve that. Okay. And that's what this is saying. Uh, you know, you want emotional fulfillment, manifest it and, uh, you know, and, and really use that manifestation tools that you have, uh, to this greatest ability to achieve that. Uh, and don't think, make things more difficult than they are. Simply, you know, focus on uh, being very simple. Make sure that you're focusing on your own truth and not anyone else's, but your own, okay? Your own truth, all right? Uh, and, and that's, it might be mean starting over in some way, shape or form in some way, okay? In a relationship, in a situation or whatever, but know that whatever it is that you put your mind to that you can actually achieve it. Okay, Leo. So that's what's coming into play. Uh, and is there anything else that might want to help you uh, with the peace cards here that could help you? Okay. Positive outcome. Okay. Very positive outcome. So what is it that you set out to do? Okay. Remember we talked at the beginning, how we talked about, uh, you know, what would you want to hear? Uh, if, 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 um, Let's say, for instance, if you wanted to be encouraged right now, what would you want to hear? Okay. And this is saying is that a positive outcome is on its way. So maybe something like a positive outcome is on its way. I've got the, all the tools necessary to make this happen. You know, emotional fulfillment is mine for the taking, right? And as long as I apply discipline in the process, um, and I am in truth about that, that uh, I'm actually going to move forward and I'm going to grow, right? And then I'm going to reach the sun. And that's just going to make me pretty darn happy, <laughs> right? So this is really kind of what I see here. So, you know, getting back to, you know, what is it? Maybe we have a more clear picture as to what it is that you, if you were a parent, and, uh, you know, what advice that you would give uh, to yourself if you were your own mother and you're talking to, a uh you know that's that's talking to their child 
what would it be that you would want to say? So note your comments below, because I'd like to know what that would be. Uh, it's almost as if your adult self is looking at your your uh, your um, your child self and saying, this is the advice I'd give you, honey, okay? Especially based upon what I know now, right? <laughs> so that's what it's the same, because I think what has happened, Leo, is that you've learned a big lesson somewhere, and it's it, it's kind of catapulted you to a new beginning. And it's, it's grown you, and it's made you very, very happy. Uh, and uh, it could have been, you know, you going on that book journey and it could be starting over again uh, in that uh, and it also relates to choices too okay so maybe the truth in your choices uh, make sure you follow your, your own dreams so that being said all right Leo I look forward to seeing you in uh, August and until then namaste